The Impressionist and Modern Art Evening Sale in New York in May offers a really extensive array of works by the key artists of the Impressionist movement. Claude Monet, Pissarro, Renoir and Degas. To see all of these artists working between their earliest moments with Impressionism through the turn of the last century really gives us a sense of where these artists were going in their own ways and as a group together. We have a range of works by Monet that show an artist from a moment of high Impressionism to what is essentially the first modernist of the 20th century. Right at the height of Impressionism is the snow scene. Monet was exploring the effects of light on snow. Several of the Impressionist artists will toy with the effet de neige, but it's Monet who really masters it. The town of Veteuil, situated on the Seine between Mantes and Vernon, provided a wonderful source of inspiration for Monet. He actually lived there for two years with his family between 1888 and 1890. By 1890, he has had enough success to purchase the garden and homes at Giverny. And over the next two decades, he will spend immense amounts of time creating this artist's haven that will inspire some of the most important paintings of his entire career. When Monet breaks down these traditions of perspective in the paintings from the Nymphea in 1905, he heralds an age of abstraction that in many ways will dominate the rest of the 20th century. In the Bassin or Nymphea from 1913, we have the most glorious explosion of color. Monet obsessed about his garden and employed gardeners to realize in nature what he wanted to represent in his art. And here I think it's all come together in this summer bloom with the arch of the roses and the water lilies. It creates the most beautiful composition. The three works by Degas all treat the same theme of the bathing woman, which alongside the dancer theme was probably one of Degas' most important subject matters. He takes the subject of the woman very much unawares, going about her daily routines, very often positioning himself as a kind of voyeur. He gets into the very intimate moments of the woman. The use of pastel here allows Degas to move away from maybe the more defined contours of a graphic drawing and create this movement and volume. The forms and the contours are merging into a kind of symphony of color. As one of the fathers of Impressionism, Renoir is deeply involved in those group Impressionist exhibitions in the 1870s. But in the later years, Renoir heads off in a personal and unique direction, inspired in many ways by old master painters such as Titian, Giorgione, Rembrandt, Rubens. For him, the real subject matter of the later years is the female model. Early modernists were looking at Renoir as a guide towards the depiction of the female form. The series of works by the Impressionist masters that we have in this sale highlight such important milestones between the 1870s and the early 20th century that show the diversity and importance of this movement, not only to the cultural time, but also to what will come after.